is just trapped. Oh, and question mark for Magnus's last move. It looks like the evaluation bar. The E5 can winning. be captured. I was... <gasps> Oops. Knight takes pawn is possible here. Or Will bishop. Yeah, or bishop, bishop takes. Bishop takes or knight takes, I'm not sure. Bishop takes, there might have been rook takes f3, so knight takes on the board. This utilizes the fact that, wow, missed opportunity according to the computer, but this looks clever. If everything is captured, then later on there would have been a nasty queen check on c4. Magnus instantly reacts with rook to a2. Was this a trap? Has he tricked Gukesh? Well, queen c4 is still possible, having a lot of pawns for white, three pawns for an exchange. Yeah, but there's something happening on f2. We had Maurice. Whoa, Gukesh has given up his queen. Whoa. Wow. A bishop for wow. queen now. Well, maybe Very uncomfortable position for black. Wow, what a game. Knight c5, e5, e6. Brilliant play by the youngster. This pawn is running. Both of white's pawns are running. This is scary for Magnus. Black's queen alone cannot fight the whole white army. Magnus needs something. He's sacrificing a queen for a bishop and a knight. Unbelievable. I don't think it would have even entered my radar. And what happened with this G3 bad bishop, right? It's just protecting the amazing D6 boss pawn. <laughs> Supporting this pawn, defending F2. This bishop's holding everything together for white. And bang, bang, just two more moves. If white gets the pawn to E6, it's game over. Very frustrating and very difficult position to play it with black. Mm -hmm. I guess Magnus is going to be pinning his hopes on establishing a blockade on the light squares. And... What's happening now? Magnus threatening the white rook. There are back rank problems for Gukesh right now. He needs to take a timeout, maybe improve the white rook. A1. Okay. F3, what a nice move, protecting it with the bishop. White's bishop doing all of the work in this game. And what can Magnus do now? The black rook is stuck. There are all sorts of threats. White's e-pawn in some cases can advance. At the same time, I'm not sure about this F3. With rook a8, rook a2, there is a target on g2 as a counter-attack. Counter-play, potentially. It takes a while, though. Does black have that time? The white pawns look so scary. White is threatening in some lines to just drop the white knight back as well, gain time against that black queen. And then the pawns will roll. <laughs> Key moment. What a game. <laughs> I do like that comment. We need more games. Ah, maybe that pawn's life was short-lived after all. And rook d3 is threatening. Mm -hmm. Big threat. Okay. Magnus so, has to move his king. Okay, one would be able under. What is he? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought he was going to put his king on a bad square there. He retreats out of the way of any knight checks. Rook c6, very powerful. Mm -hmm. Still threats on the board. Magnus moving his queen away. And black is on the verge of going on a counterattack. But whoa, the evaluation bar leaps up. There is now a win for Gukesh. Apparently e6 is a winning move right now, pushing the white pawn and black. And bishop e5. Yeah, black's king is caught in the crossfire. Oh, that would have been a mating net, but he misses it, Gukesh. Black queen comes back now, but he's still putting the pressure on, still threats. Rook d2 threatened now, pinning that black queen to its king. Um, Magnus, less than 10 seconds, less than 5 seconds. The oh, Getting a one second increment, that is nothing. You feel that maybe that was the one moment that Gukesh could have cashed in and suddenly he's repeating with his bishop, the black rook getting behind counterplay, the white king not safe. You see the relief of Magnus, look at the body language, and, oh, for the moment I'm, I'm in safety. <laughs> <laughs> but he only has three seconds left on the clock and well, it only gets a one second increment. But on the board, on the board. Well, there's not just the board though. Bishop, check. check. But Oops. now the other white pawn has disappeared. All of white's winning chances are falling with the fall of his pawns. And okay, a bunch of quick moves. Oops, catch those gone. His knight knight on is gone. Square. Wow. Blunder the knight on e6. Oh, and take a look at that clock. Gukesh with just one second remaining. Magnus takes it and walks away with an Armageddon victory. What a crazy game. Amazing. They say